Welcome back. Now, recent media reports detailed uh, new tariff plans by South Africa's power supply is coming, including the proposal to charge consumers a split tariff made up of a volumetric energy usage charge and a fixed daily network charge. South African local energy startup Wetility Solar Installation Market believes it is ideally positioned to help consumers uh, avoid additional solar fees through technology. Vincent Maposa, the CEO and co-founder of Wotility joins us now this morning to share a bit more about their work. Uh, Vincent, good morning. Now, for the sake of those that have never heard of Wotility, um, who are you and what do you offer? Good morning to you and good morning to the uh, Morning Live viewers. We're a startup uh, which is uh, progressing uh, rapidly to becoming a scale-up in the hybrid rooftop solar space, uh, particularly as a power-to-homes platform. So what we provide is a hybrid solution that allows the customer to leverage lower, uh, lower cost electricity produced by the solar systems we provide, as well as to mitigate against any load shedding or blackouts because the system comes with a battery backup. So we provide our solutions, uh, including uh, lease payments, uh, a month-to-month -month lease, which allows the customer to pay for the system on a month-to-month -month basis for up to 10 years, as well as the customer can also pay for it using cash. Additionally, the customer can also access uh, the system or pay for the system using a bank loan as we have uh, relationships with a variety of banks. So what we provide from a hardware perspective are the solar panels. We provide a hybrid battery storage system known mm. as the PACE, as well as operation and maintenance as a standard to allow, to allow the customer to, to enjoy the benefit in a seamless manner. And in addition to that, we have a remote monitoring platform and a remote ma management platform known as WeX. Mm. How is this cost effective, though? It's quite cost effective, mostly because we, we break up the payments into monthly uh, lease payments. This allows the customer to, to pay a rate to the uh, power utility, uh, be it city power or any local municipal power uh, utility, as well as pay us for the access to the system on a monthly basis. So when you sum up those two, it works out to being slightly cheaper than what you would be paying if you didn't have a system and you were accessing power from the grid. Secondly, it, it provides uh, load shedding mitigation. So whenever there's a power outage, you are provided with the minimum amount of power that allows you to keep your essential devices uh, powered up during that period. So it's quite cost effective because we've broken it down into lease payments, which allow the customer to pay for this on a month to month basis. Mm -hmm. Now, talk to us about somebody who's just listening to this conversation and is very interested in going the solar route. Where do they start? So it's simple for them. They, they simply go to our website, www.utility.energy. They enter their address and their monthly electricity spent. We determine a pre-determined uh, uh, calculation of a system that would suit their circumstances, given the entries that they've made on the electricity bill, as well as their residential address. Thereafter, they are able to book a consultation or request a proposal. They are also able to view the various payment options that are available to them. They can access the system via a power lease agreement, which is a month-to-month -month lease. They can get the system using bank financing. We have several relationships with the, the top banks in South Africa that are also mortgage providers, and they can also access the system using cash. Thereafter, depending on whether they choose a consultation or choose to receive a proposal, uh, a team uh, sets up a consultation with them or sets up a site visit if the customer is going forward. And within a very short space of time, about 14 days, the customer can have a system installed at their home and start to benefit uh, from the system. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the monthly lease or the power purchase agreement? So the difference is um, uh, most of the, of the cost of a system is, is the capex, right, which is quite high. So when you're looking at a system which is a cash system, you're looking at paying around 150,000 rand for a standard system, which is fully installed, has a certificate of compliance, has five years of operation and maintenance. And most households are unable to, uh, to uh, have those resources available or pay for that system upfront. So what the lease does is it allows the customer to pay for it on a month-to-month -month basis over an extended period of time of up to uh, 10 years, which is 120 months. In certain cases, you can go up to 15 years, just depending on the credit history and the payment ability of that particular customer. And what's the interest on there? So there's no interest. It's a fixed uh, monthly charge with an escalation, which is CPI plus a couple hundred uh, basis points. It's usually kept uh, under 8%, and that's the, the escalation on the, on the lease agreement. Mm -hmm. How often does this uh, uh, need to be serviced? 
So we, we, we clean our panels uh, and, and also send out a team to check on the health of the system, uh, check on the earthing, uh, check on the battery uh, system of, the, of the, the health of the PACE, which is the hybrid battery storage system, and that's done twice a year. Uh, in essence, your cleaning your panels can be done at a minimum of once a year just to make sure that the dust that accumulates, particularly during the winter periods, doesn't affect the yield that you get from your solar panels, as well as to make sure that there are no creatures or birds that are now, you know, nesting under the, the panels. And also just to make sure things such as earthing are still in place and that the system is still safe and uh, operates in the manner that it was intended to. Mm -hmm. And what's the solar uh, space? How's the solar space doing in South Africa, given our power problems and what have we experienced over the past couple of years and how, um, you know, ESCOM is doing? What, what's the response from South Africans in relation to solar? No, the response is, is quite overwhelming. Uh, the customers are, are quite interested in getting a system. And I think it's more of understanding how this system is a hybrid solution that allows the customer to remain powered up and not necessarily disconnect completely from the grid. Mm. As battery technology improves, the customer can add more and more batteries and get to a point where they're as close as possible to going completely off grid. So for us as a business, we, we are moving from being a startup to being a scale up. And that's through significant partnerships that allow us to provide the hardware, provide the software, provide the financing as well to our customers, because we're seeing quite a bit of uh, growth in that particular space. Mm -hmm. I think the South African economy has suffered quite a bit uh, due to COVID-19, as well as just the, 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 the lack of power to drive industrial growth and also to drive SME growth. As you noticed, a lot of uh, uh, people who are out of work at the, at the, at the onset of COVID-19 have resorted to cottage industry type of work and have started their own SMEs. And one of the things that we, that we discovered during the surveys that we conducted with some of these customers is the lack of power greatly affects their ability to continue to provide for their families. So for us, we're seeing a significant amount of growth. People desire and require to remain powered up for extended periods of time. And how long before people can uh, get off the grid completely um, after your installation? So it depends on what we try to do is we try to find the most cost effective manner uh, way for the customer to have a system from us. Going off the grid uh, depends on a variety of parameters, uh, one of them being cost. So the cost of batteries, are, well, the batteries uh, from a technology perspective, the technology is improving uh, significantly every year. We're looking at about 20 to 25 percent reduction in the cost of batteries every year. So eventually customers will be able to get to, say, a 90 percent split between a hybrid system and, say, 10 percent on the grid. However, the desire is not necessarily to take customers off the grid completely because infrastructure is already in place. Mm. That is uh, grid infrastructure. And if we're looking at it on a comparative basis, looking at South Africa, which has an 86 percent electricity access rate, and we accounted about 10 percent of uh, total time last year, was, was, was under load shedding. There's still a solid case for the grid to remain, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a main supplier of, of power to customers. However, a hybrid solution is more cost effective and is also more environmentally sustainable. So customers need to, to look at it from that perspective. But eventually with things such as vehicle to grid and the advent of electric vehicles and the ability to have two-way charging between your vehicle and your home and your home and vice versa, there are significant opportunities for, for consumers to start to have more independent sources of power and start to move uh, completely off the grid. All right. Uh, Vincent Maposa, thank you so much for talking to us. He is the CEO and co-founder of Utility and how Utility seeks to help customers reduce their electricity costs and receive uninterrupted power for our hybrid solar energy solutions. All right, let's take a, a quick look at your tweets before we say goodbye.